Well, this is an update to a story, of course, we've been covering for years here on Fox 11. It's one example of why the homeless problem is, as we say, complex. Uh, but Karen Bass, the new administration, is trying to make it as easy as possible to get people off the streets and into shelters like this one behind me. It's not just about moving the homeless into shelters. It's about moving their belongings, too. And as you can see, there is often a lot to deal with. Well, I'm giving a lot of stuff away. Billy, 50, from New Jersey, has chosen to accept an offer of temporary shelter. Now he has more choices to make. What to give away, what to store, what to leave behind, and what to pack. I told them that I have two big bags and a wagon full of stuff, and they said that was okay. There's some confusion on the streets about a so-called two-bag limit, leading some to refuse to leave if it means leaving what they have. Mostly clothes, but some of it's food. And they expect you to just throw it away? Crazy. Perhaps the reason for the confusion, the county's longtime winter shelter program does have a two-bag limit. And what we need to do is... But L.A. Mayor Karen Bass's new Inside Safe program, announced December 21st, aims to be more flexible. A spokesperson for the mayor telling me, there is no two-bag limit. We are acting with urgency and clearing all the barriers so people can immediately move inside. Again, the city offers reasonable free storage. But what's left behind will likely be destroyed as the streets are clean. The idea is to have people and possessions long gone by then. This Venice encampment, the second location the mayor's targeted with the support of new councilwoman Tracy Park. I am hopeful that this is going to be a success citywide and I really look forward to locking arms with the mayor. One typical destination the city's been using as temporary shelter even before Bass took office, this old motel on Western near Imperial called Los Angeles Inn and Suites. Through a combination of federal, state and local money, residents like Anthony are trying to get back on their feet. Actually for me, it's, it's, it's been good. I got my housing uh, already picked out and it's gonna be paid for for a year. Um, I do have a part-time job. That, of course, the way it's supposed to work, Alex and Christine, but talking with other people here at this uh, motel, it's not going smoothly for everyone. Mayor Bass, of course, has said over and over again she has an urgent but strategic approach between the Venice encampment, and you remember the early, the one we reported on a couple of weeks ago in Coanga in the Hollywood area, they're saying about 50 people have been moved into temporary shelter on the way to permanent housing, which is a start, but you remember the numbers, some 40,000 homeless in the city of Los Angeles alone. I'm Phil Schumann, live. Alex, Christine, back to you.